So finally MIUI 12.5 Enhanced Edition is here for some of the devices. Uh, basically Enhanced Edition is something MIUI 12.5 related thing with no any, uh, any kind of major extra new features. Almost every feature is same just bit of performance improvements according to their according to them. But let's just talk about the things we have installed it on our Redmi Note 8. One of the biggest change, one of the major change which I noticed after installing it on my Redmi Note 8 is it, this includes the finally the memory extension feature. And what is that memory extension feature? Of course, you'll get some extra RAM for your device to make it work smoother. Let's just see if it works or not. It's based under version 11 as expectedly. This is a feature which I was talking about called memory extension. Add 1 GB of RAM by occupying storage. Use this feature only when there is enough storage space available on your device. And the previous times the feature was there like in one OS and other custom rooms, other MIUI based custom rooms. But that was not working perfectly. Even that was not working for Redmi Note because Redmi Note is not officially supported for that but was. Right now it's officially supported and officially they have ruled out this thing memory extension feature that's why i said that this is a MIUI enhanced related thing if you talk about the free ram right now my free ram is showing as 1.9 gb or 4 gb of course i haven't tried this feature yet but according to most of the users according to most of the developers they say that memory extension feature is now officially available for redmi node 8 users and of course 1 gb of extra ram which is good enough let's see if the increase in performance related things because performance is what matters in miui because if it's there then it's good also the new game turbo is present there and just few days ago i made a video on new game turbo there but that was in chinese language this game turbo is now translated it has its english language as expectedly new game turbo ui seems to be very good enough you can simply use the timer if you want to wi-fi clear memory screenshot all these options are present for you for example if i go and take a screenshot it was working fine and the previous update it was not working perfectly fine you need to click two or three times then the screenshot was clicking there now it's good. The clear memory feature is also present there. Like this, we have uh, the DND mode, recording, Wi Fi, etc. Everything seems to be working good here. As you can see, recording, etc. This game turbo is quite good. It's working fine. So, yes, actually, quite improvements, uh, quite a lot of improvements are present in this MIUI latest 12.5 beta update. So, if you're a user having unlocked bootloader, having custom recovery, make sure to install this thing. This looks quite good interesting one in the terms of video toolbox of course it has a new ui in video toolbox also the floating windows everything is present record screenshot cast play video alongside with that just recognize the background music according to them the option is present for you for example if i move on to the settings you can simply customize the shortcut location and video apps where you want this thing everything's upon you if you have ever used video toolbox in me why you get this very interesting feature if you move on and check out this uh, remove back recognize the background music click here it will automatically open the floating windows of the default music app of course there's a china beta so yes all the chinese apps and chinese plotware is present there as it is a bit of issue for some of the users but yes if you need new features officially then this might be a very good choice for you just install this thing and simply uninstall the blot where which you don't want you have a lot of options there present for you we also have all these options present like new apps and new security everything is new there in the terms of let me just show you by going into settings here the new control center is also present where you can simply switch between the control center and a notification panel in the terms of other new things like new security options are present for you which is which was like MIUI 12 MIUI 13 security but it is now MIUI 12.5 enhanced edition security options so let's see if it is officially for just MIUI 12.5 or not you also got the new privacy protection related things new battery UI maybe and yes as you can see everything is almost same looks quite good enough so link is in the description to install this MIUI thing on your device if you want to this is all from today's short and simple video if you like this don't forget to like and share this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe me to getting all of these things this is all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day
like I'm floating through the air 